if you are listening to this through five inch studio monitors in a beautiful, well-treated studio space, and if you never have any intention of leaving that studio space, and honestly, who could blame you, then this video probably is not for you. However, if you do plan on leaving that beautiful, well-treated studio space, or if you're like me and you do not yet have that beautiful, well-treated studio space, then stay tuned because I have something really cool to share with you. In this review, I'm going to cover reasons you might want to pick up a pair of portable studio monitors, and in particular, the Goox 3s by KRK Systems. I'm also going to share a few gripes that I have with the Goox 3s. Not deal breakers, but something that KRK Systems ought to consider improving before they release the next iteration. Feel free to check out the timestamps in the description below to jump between each of the relevant sections. I'm holding KRK Systems Go Ox 3 portable studio monitoring system, or at least one half of the uh, pair of monitors that comes in the set. Uh, KRK Systems sent this to me for free so that I could try it out and make a video. Uh, they did not, however, pay me to make the video, so my opinions that I'll share with you are my own. As you can see, these are pretty small, manageable monitors. Ooh. That's kind of small. And that's kind of the whole idea. They are made of three inch glass aramid woofers with one inch soft textile dome tweeters that reproduce incredibly detailed sound. However, the whole thing, including cables and carrying case, weighs in at under seven pounds. So it's very easy to take this on the road. They have the feel of very serious, durable studio equipment, but they can go on the road. So they're really melding two use cases into one, which makes these incredibly handy monitors to have. Except for very brief periods of time, I've done all of my audio work exclusively through headphones. Mixing in headphones works, especially if you check your work in the context in which people will be listening to your audio, like earbuds, phone speakers, laptop speakers, over your headphones, or whatever the case may be. Plus, I live in a small shared New York City apartment with neighbors and everything, and my desk space is about as full as it can get. That said, I've just enough room to set these little guys up here and the adjustable stands allow me to get them pointed the right way without having to do a whole lot of rearranging. I don't know about you, but I'm finding more and more that I really want to get out of the room where I spent most of my time during the COVID lockdown, which is this room. I wanna go outside on nice days and I want to make my music in novel locations. Not only do these monitors fit on my cramped desk, they fit into a padded bag that comes included that I can sling over my shoulder and take with me wherever I'm headed to find some inspiration. This was a good time for me to start playing with these monitors because I'm in the midst of tearing apart and rebuilding some of my own music for use in scoring an audio documentary I'm working on. I've heard this music through just about every set of speakers I've had access to, so I know it like the back of my hand. I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt that every detail I was looking for in the audio was there in a neutral, transparent presentation in these monitors. It was a totally seamless transition to go from my DT990s to these monitors, and I found I could go much longer without breaks in working with the audio because my ears didn't ever really get fatigued the way they often do when I'm working with headphones. The thing I would be most worried about with something this small and light is, of course, the low end but it is well and truly present in these little guys, perhaps surprisingly so. Sometimes with little speakers, you get a bass that sounds floppy, like a string on a guitar that's been detuned too far, or the low end just disappears altogether. But these monitors give you a firm, tight sound in the low end, and that taut, well-packaged quality goes all the way up to the high frequencies. 
And speaking of frequency, there is some customizability built into the monitors. Around back of the left monitor, there are three buttons. One is for Bluetooth, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Uh, but then there's also a button for EQing high end and another for low end. I've been working with the highs and lows flat for the most part, especially since I'm working mostly in media that's destined for small screens and speakers. But you have the option with these monitors of adding two decibels or dropping three decibels from both the low end and the high end, respectively. Now for the Bluetooth. You can connect these to your phone, tablet, or laptop. Now that Logic is on the iPad, this is a particularly useful bit of functionality, I think. I don't make much music with my phone, but if I did, it would be invaluable for these monitors to connect to Bluetooth. So that's all of the pros for my particular set of use cases, but let's take a moment to talk about some cons. I have nothing bad to say about the monitors themselves. Let me be totally clear about that. For the size and the dimensions, you get a sound quality that is incredibly transparent, that is neutral, but that has a lot of detail to it as well. Um, the only real bones I have to pick with KRK systems are over these cables. The GoOx 3s do not come with an RCA cable. I guess KRK assumes you probably already have one. and. In my case, they were correct, but I can imagine somebody getting their first pair of monitors, opening the box, and realizing they're going to have to wait a day or two to use them because they do not have an RCA cable on hand, and that's a bummer. Now, they do have Bluetooth connectivity, so that's always an option, but if you want to use an RCA cable, you're going to have to provide your own. The power cable too is something that you could easily replace or connect to an extension cable, but it is almost unusably short. It is comical in comparison to the cable connecting the left monitor to the right monitor, which I had to bunch up and put a rubber band around in order to protect my sanity. Again, there are probably perfectly good reasons for all of this, and I'm as big an advocate for cutting down on waste, especially in cables that you already have as the next guy. Uh, but the GoOx 3s lose a couple of points for out of the box usability as far as I'm concerned. In summary, the GoOx 3 portable studio monitoring system by KRK Systems is a big sound in a small package. It is a small package that's clearly meant to travel. It comes with its own padded gig bag. Uh, it's Stands are easy on, easy off. It's just a little screw knob and it takes like 10 seconds to get it set up or get it broken down and into the padded gig bag. So if you are looking for that particular use case, something that you can use in the studio and it's gonna give you a good, uh, clear, transparent sound, but then something that you can also take on the road with you, um, then this is it. Things I'm not so crazy about are the cables that it comes with or doesn't come with. You got to find your own RCA cable if that's what you want to use. Uh, and the power cable is very short. So these are meant to be portable. They're meant to be used all over the place. They still need to be plugged in. And when you plug them in, if you're not right next to a wall outlet, you're probably going to need either an extension cable or a replacement for the, the power cable that it comes with. That said, I find these to be incredibly useful and the quality is unmatched by anything I've used thus far. So you will be seeing these in my videos for some time to come because they will have a permanent space in my setup. So I think that'll do it for this GoOx 3 Portable Studio Monitoring System by KRK Systems review. Uh, if you found this video useful or entertaining, be sure to subscribe to the Producer Hive YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you know next time we put something out. Uh, feel free to like the video too. And check out ProducerHive.com where there's a bunch of written content and links to all sorts of other stuff all on the same type of topic. We got reviews, we've got how-to guides, we got anything that you could possibly need for audio and music production stuff. Um, and with that, my name is Noah. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.